We've been talking about it, we're still talking about it. Nano Banana is all over the internet. It's really the only AI model that anybody is talking about right now. And we also have it in Kittle and you can use it with flows. So that's what we're gonna talk about in this video. So I've got a flow set up here, and this one is specifically just to emphasize the consistency of character sets. And one thing that I did not know that you could do until now is just create an artboard, put different things on it, and then ask it with your prompt to combine the different elements into one image displaying your character. I don't know why I would not have thought of that, but you can do that. So we've got some glasses, we've got a bionic arm, the main character here that we wanna use, as well as some headphones. And as you can see, this result is insane. Obviously, some of that is attributed to the prompt. We wanna be good with our prompt. Create a metallic feel, right? So we're setting the mood, metallic feel. Blue seamless studio backdrop with uneven lighting glow. Combine the elements from the provided images right there make full body shot, model wearing accessories provided. So we're multiple times referencing the different things that we want to put together in one. So now we're taking this, we're iterating on this, change the pose more dynamic, bird's eye view, head really close to the camera, make the whole image tilted, boom, got it. Remove the shades from the model's hands. And one of the things that's absolutely amazing about using Nano Banana in flows is not only being able to see the journey like this and string together and break off paths in different points, just the consistency of it not changing what you're not referencing. In previous AI models, you could ask it to change something about the image, but then it would change like three more things. And so it would make character consistency essentially impossible. Let's go down to this one. We've got a bunch of different assets here. We've got this very interesting outfit, some gloves, something that goes over the head. This looks like some sort of corset shoes and this chest piece thing. And this is just like, I mean, I don't even understand how this is possible. We've got this very shiny metallic background here in our studio setting. And then we switch to a little bit less shiny. And then we've changed to a completely different scene, but with total character consistency. It's like it has the ability to reference back to the original image to keep the details. And now we've got this again and close i mean this is just this is insane let's jump down to this one we've got a bunch of different pieces here and i mean this is just incredible like i don't even understand like some of this is prompting of course a note on that all of these flows are actually available in kittle and we'll link that in the description for you it's this cyberpunk photo shoot right here so you'll have access to all of the different prompts so you can go through here and really use the prompts given provided in this flow to inspire the way that you prompt things because even before nano banana nano banana is fantastic it's a very good image generation model but even with it and specifically other ai models we all know that prompting is king like we all know that your prompting needs to be on point you can't really get upset with the ai for not giving you what you want if you didn't give it a good prompt let's look quickly at this one i mean there are just so many different details in this and it's got all of this i mean this is this is wild it's pretty extreme i am just astounded by the different things that you can do with this i mean i'm gonna do this i'm gonna branch off of this guy right here keep the same character photography style angle character pose photography style and angle but put the subject in the middle of a green lush field with blue cloudy skies surreal metallic feeling i mean this is it's pretty spot on i thought that it was going to give me just regular grass but this is even better and you can tell the character consistency of what i did not tell it to change is almost the same i mean it changed the lighting of the screens which is fantastic because obviously the lighting would look different in a light setting versus a dark setting but it's also got the fisheye lens so we've got like a curvature of the photo around here let's go to this one i'm going to branch off and say change background to a white backdrop uneven studio lighting i mean this is 
fantastic. So now I've got my subject isolated right here without the tentacle things in the background and I've just got a nice uneven white background. The things that you can do with this are truthfully limitless. And speaking of unlimited, for all pro and expert Kittle plans, until October 3rd, you have unlimited AI credits for Nano Banana using flows. So you can quite literally go bananas. You can go nuts. You have unlimited generations until October 3rd. Go try out Nano Banana today. Generate everything. Generate characters. Generate sets. Generate assets. Do whatever you want to do share it with your friends and your family absolutely go crazy and have fun if you're not already subscribed to the kittle youtube channel make sure you do that as well as leave a comment and tell us if you tried out nano banana already like this video and we will see you in the next one thanks so much for watching